want to talk about the rip currents because you can see them on here. Now, check this out. Uh, here's a nice shot of the inlet here, but look at it. You see these little brown water coming out here, kind of pulling out? These are all rip currents. Now, they're not all that uh, big. They don't pull you out all that far, but a small child, this small distance is over his head. So that's what you have to be careful of. Remember, they're not straight across the beach. They're just in little segments. The waves don't have to be really big either. You just need a little bit of wave, onshore wind, and then on top of that, we have the extra high and the extra low tide thanks to the full moon that we had on Thursday. So that tidal push of pushing in and pulling out very quickly can cause these rip currents. Now again, they don't go out really far. They just pull out a little bit, but if, you're, if you can't swim and it's over your head, then that gets you in trouble. Here's what it looks like. You have a sandbar on either side. That rip current pulls you out to sea. Again, not that far. You don't want to swim against it because it's too strong. You want to either swim diagonal back to the beach, and that will get you back to the beach quickly, or swim parallel to shore and then come in, and you'll be able to get pushed in by the waves no problem. It's just fighting that rip current. All it's going to do is get you tired, then you get in trouble. Remember, swim near lifeguards. Lifeguards are up there at Jupiter Inlet and down by Juno Pier, but in between, there's no lifeguards. Always ask the lifeguards before you head on out to, and they know exactly what to tell you.